Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here. Wally Kern at Supreme Gecko recently sent me this package. I'll be opening this up. Oh, he taped it nicely. There we go. He sent me some Supreme Isopod Chow to test out. So an eight ounce container and I like that he has the fact that leaves and decaying wood are the ice buds primary food and you feed this dry at least one time per week has the ingredients there so you can check those out I like that it's nice that it's complete transparent in terms of ingredients so Wally offered to send me some of this in exchange for an honest review of it and uh, I am excited to try it out. So first of all, let's feed it to some isopods and see what their feeding response is. So once again, thanks to Wally for sending this and let's give it a try. I decided to try feeding it to all of my isopods today, I think, but uh, the ones I'll show on camera, I'm gonna start with the Porcelio ornatus yellow dot with the Florida Fast, Atlantosha Floridana. Looks like I need to put some more leaves in there. They eat those things fast. And with the Armadillidium klugai Montenegro. So the reason why I chose Armadillidium klugai is that they seem to be a little picky in terms of the food items that they want. And then I know that the Florida Fast and the Porcelio or not as yellow dot are not very picky. So here we go, let's try it out. Open it up here. And I've just got a teaspoon measure here, half teaspoon measure. I'm going to put a little bit right next to their favorite piece of cork bark. There it is. And we'll come back and check on the progress in a little while. Close that one off. And now we'll put some in with the Florida Fast. And now for the Porcelio Ornatus Yellow Dot. You know, some of you might wonder why I didn't choose to put it in with my Porcelio Labus Dairy Cow. Oh, look at that immediate feeding response there. They know it's good stuff, Wally. Incidentally, I got my starter uh, individuals of this species, the Porcelia ornatus yellow dot from Wally as well. So they obviously are uh, getting into it and we'll give them a few minutes. In fact, I think I'm going to put this on a time lapse. But as I was saying, the uh, I'm not going to use dairy cows for this because I tend to use dairy cows for food tests and I know they're going to eat everything. So this would be uh, just, you know, a little bit of contrast there. So let's turn this into a time lapse. Well, as I suspected, the Porcelio ornatus yellow dot are pretty enthusiastic about eating it. It appears that they're detecting it from some distance away. They're probably uh, smelling it. It smells something like alfalfa, just sort of a pleasant grassy odor. But whatever it is, the, uh, these isopods seem pretty enthusiastic about eating it. And that is a good sign. Okay, let's take a peek at the Florida Fast. Unfortunately, I think I just scared some of them away from it. But, it does look like they are eating it. And I didn't really expect such tiny isopods to have made as much of a dent in it as the Porcelio ornatus. But, it looks like we are getting some feeding going on there. Okay, let's take a look at what the Armadillidium klugai have been doing. So far, it doesn't look like a whole lot. They are not, like I said, as forthcoming as some of the other isopods about eating. They're not quite as aggressive about it, but it looks like some of them are gathered near the edge and there are some feeding there. It looks like I probably scared some away just now. But the fact that some of them are feeding on it is encouraging. The orange Dalmatians are pretty enthusiastic about it, as are the Porcelio labus dairy cow, of course. 
The giant canyons haven't touched it yet, but they usually seem to wait until nighttime. The dwarf whites don't seem to have sampled it yet. Powder oranges don't disappoint. It looks like a few of the orange vigors are into it. Mm, the jungle micropods. I'm not really sure what they're thinking. I don't see a lot actually eating it, but there are a lot climbing around. The Armadillidium nosatum peach are also interested, despite having just consumed some of a snake shed. The Porcelio hoffmansegai don't seem to have even noticed it yet. There are just a few of the Isopoda species Tarragona, looking like they're starting to notice it. It seems to be popular with a Silisticus convexus. Well, it's a hit with the calicos, no question about that. So far so good. It looks like a pretty good showing for this food so far. I'm going to select an enclosure or maybe more than one enclosure of isopods and feed uh, this exclusively as the supplemental food for a while and see how they do on it. And I'll give you the results of that experiment in the future. I might want to do this for two or three months to see how that goes. And I want to thank Wally for letting me try this out. He's been working on this uh, Supreme Isopod Chow for some time with his own collection of isopods and he's getting great results and so I expect I'll get some great results too but uh, I'll need to test it out further before I can give you a definitive answer on that. Remember to check out the description for uh, a link to this food and to other foods for isopods that you can try out. And before I go any further, I really want to thank our Aquarimax uh, Patreon backers. They've done a lot for the channel so far. I'm really excited by the response. We're getting uh, more and more uh, patrons signing up, which is really exciting for the future of the channel in 2020. I really appreciate what you do for the channel, and I really appreciate everyone for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday all on aquarium and vivarium pets. So if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.